Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This here's Hordy's Garage. On today's episode, we got t Dog here with Gold Member. We got a little bit of an exhaust leak going on. Um, it's mostly isolated towards the exhaust manifold area. So we're gonna go ahead, dive in, start uh, checking things out, taking things off, see if we can fix it. And get this caddy cruising quietly down the road. Right on, let's get to it. So we're starting to get a good look at what we're dealing with here and we think we know what the problem is. That right there is definitely a snapped bolt. Not going to be getting a good seal with that exhaust manifold to the head so that's probably where we're getting our noise from. Got a few more bolts in here that are actually intact. We're going to do our best not to break those. But before we even start getting to that we got to get this disconnected from the rest of the exhaust system. So let's start working on that. Alright we're here under the car nice and comfortable. Gonna start working on wrestling these out, 916ths, and we got all the extensions available to us. So let's see how this goes. Ugh. I think I need a breaker bar or something. Yep, I'm gonna need a breaker <laughs> bar. <laughs> Try number two with the breaker bar. Just spinning on this thing. Hey, I got it! Pretty jammed in there, but <laughs> we got it and didn't even break I it. Thought that was going to break for sure. All right, let's wrestle out these other ones. Hopefully, they go as well as this one. Good news, everyone. We're moving along. We got the exhaust manifold separated from the rest of the exhaust. We did end up snapping two out of three bolts. So hopefully, it's a different story when we actually go to getting the manifold out of the head. But as you can see, we do have some separation there. So hopefully the rest of these bolts come out and um, you know we can get this old piece out of here. A little bit of a miss here, forgot to film it. First bolt came out completely intact. We used the uh, impact here, a little bit of loosening, a little bit of tightening on the nut buster setting. And look at that. I really hope the rest of it goes this well. Here goes number two. So nervous. Oh, it wasn't even on all the way, that's why. It's smoking, but it is out. It's out? Yeah. And then another one right here. Yeah. <laughs> There's another one. You kind of got lost again? somewhere up there. No, that was a bolt. Oh. It's like lost somewhere down there. I don't know, we'll come back for it. This last one is gonna suck getting to. So this like upper arm is just right in the way. You got it. Oh, did it come out? I can't see the light and everything fell. Wow, you're not kidding. <laughs> we got it. All right, let's try to get this hose off here. You can see this is a little, uh, I don't know what kind of thing you'd say. There we go. That was really easy to do. <laughs> coming, it's coming. The lawn, there we go. All right. Got her. Manifold is fully disconnected. Let's see if we can pull it out. We got a few uh, brackets for the alternator that kind of sandwich is uh, in between the exhaust manifold. So we're gonna take these two brackets off. Just a couple half inch nuts here, or bolts. There is bracket number one. Looks like it's got some wires attached to it, but it's not gonna be black in our manifold, so that's good. Now, I think we're in the clear. 
We thought we were done, but we were not. There's actually two more nuts left on this. Basically, the stud comes out, one nut holds on the exhaust manifold. There's sometimes a spacer, sometimes not, and then another nut will hold on the alternator bracket or whatever else it was holding on. So we got two more to go. See what happens. Or did I just take the whole stud out? That works. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. <clears throat> Okay, as you can see, we've got this manifold almost loose from the exhaust here, but we're gonna have to take the hanger down. Uh, t Dog's gonna do that so we can actually get separation here. So let's come around Ooh, as I bang onto everything. Here we go. Let's go. I can't uh can't get there. Impact's a little too big here. Alright, let's get a swivel or something in here and we'll get this other one off. Oh no. Alright, time to get this manifold out. Third and final time. Ta-da! <laughs> we got it. We do have one remaining stud stuck coming out of the head here. So we're going to do the old big vice grip attempt. Oh, shit. oh it did? It is. It's moving. Stud, so we gotta drill her out. Good, giddy up. A little back and forth, work it with the chisel, spin it with the pliers. Ta-da! You got it? There wasn't that go? much in there, though, was there? That's not going in there, half an hour. Alright. Let's see what we got. With there it there. is. We may have got a little bit of threads when we drilled. But it's out. But it's out. Woo! Drilling number hole number two. Here we are, day number two. It's been yesterday, it took a little while longer than we wanted to drilling out those bolts, but you know, we're here and we're ready to go. One of them we were able to fully extract, the other we had to re-tap. So, we are here ready to put everything back together. We've got all new hardware, new gaskets, new manifold, new everything. So, let's go ahead and put this on and uh, hope everything goes well. And while we're here and we've got the space, did throw in some new spark plugs because those are going to be hard to get to once this manifold's back on.
so T-Dog's got the exhaust all put back together down here. We just gotta get the rest of the studs and the bolts in for the manifold, and then we'll torque them down to 26 foot-pounds. So we'll put this on time-lapse for you. guys we got everything put back together except for the wheel still off what we're gonna do start her up just to make sure everything's running fine so we uh, run any problems easier to get to let's get her started listening for a loud hiss You got it, T-Dog. Oh, purring like a kitten. Awesome. You know what your torch is? I would guess a hundred, but probably shouldn't be fine. Hey, as you can hear, a lot quieter now. It's actually running and sounding like it's supposed to. I mean, it's a Cadillac. We don't need some loud, raspy thing. Drilling out bolts is never fun, but hey, it's gonna be worth it to be cruising around in nice, classy style. If you like uh, what you saw, hit us with a like and subscribe. Got plenty more content coming that way.